and Plateau State Governor Simon Lalong says he has no reason to reject his appointment as the Director General of the Presidential Campaign Council of the All Progressives Congress. Governor Lalong said that as an inherent of the Catholic Church and recipient of the Knight of St. Gregory title, the Pope had not told him to reject the political appointment. The governor, who doubles as the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, was at the presidential villa to thank President Mohamedou Buhari for the state pardon granted to his former governors, Joshua Darié and Jolly Nyame, as well as the approval of several projects to be cited in Plateau State. He stated that his appointment as the APC's campaign director general would not affect the discharge of his duties as a state governor. And can welcome me at the airport. Two days, uh, the next day, I addressed stakeholders of Plateau State, and I told them, uh, I told them why I am accepted. And then there was jubilation, and all of them accepted. I respect my being a Christian. I've been given the award by the Pope the highest award, I still hold that award. The highest papal award, Let, I want people to know. Knight of St. Gregory the Great. I have it. One day, if you want, I wear my uniform and come here. <laughs> For those who are talking about, I don't even know where they are. I hold a papal knight. And as a Catholic, everything we do, we do it and we send the advice to the Pope. The Pope has not told me that what I'm doing is bad to accept a uh, director general. This is not the first assignment I'm doing. I've been handling assignments from federal government, from the party, while sitting as a governor of Plateau State. So it will not affect my decision. We also appeal on behalf of Northern governors and on behalf of Plateau and Taraba. We made an appeal. People will say, we, did, we should not make an appeal. We made an appeal. The president is human. At the end of the day, not only granted bail, but he got them released a few days. Now joining us now to discuss the growing resistance to Governor Simon Lalong's appointment as campaign DG and clamor for his resignation, as well as the possible impact on APC's campaign and chances in the 2023 general election, is leader of the opposition group, Honorable Nathan Bott, now spokesman, North Central APC's forum. I want to say thank you very much for joining us here on Newsday. Now, let's start off by asking you, your North Central group is asking Governor Lalong to step down as DG of the APC organiza campaign organization. On what grounds, may I ask? Uh, good evening, good, af good, ev good afternoon, viewers. Uh, we are making our agitation based on our region. That's the North Central uh, region of Nigeria. Uh, if, hello? Yeah, we yes, can hear you. you. Go ahead, you can go on. Uh, we are, we are uh -huh. listening to you. Uh, if you, 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 can, you can see that uh, the region is being marginalized. All other regions within the northern part of the country, they have produced the office of the vice president. The northeast have done it. The north uh, west have done it. It's only the north central that have not done it. So we feel that that is what we want. If Lalong is not competent enough to serve as a vice president, we have other people like Reverend Pam and so many people that are, will fit into that office. But it is not the office of the director general that we are glamouring for. We want the office of the vice president. Why are they marginalizing us? Why will a region do it twice while our own region has not done it? That's, that's our argument. That's why we said that long should step down because that's not what we want for him. What we want is the office of the vice president. That's our position. That. Now, in the event that he opts to remain in that position, what would be yes, your next step? Uh, we've not <coughs> decided on what we are going to do, but what I know for sure is that from every indication, he has, indicated, he has already shown to the world that uh, 
it's only the Pope that can stop him from being the DG of the campaign organization. Uh, we've made our mind known. We know it's going to be a difficult job for him. He has always uh, delivered the party when it comes to difficult work. This time around, he is going to do it. But what he must know is that the job he's going to do is going to put him, uh, uh, he's going to be at the crossroad. It's either he go with the agitation of his people to go with his people or to go along with those that are trying to marginalize the region. We are not happy with that position. What we want, just as I have said, is the office of the vice president. So I'm waiting to see. When we meet next week, I'm sure we'll decide on our next line of action. Okay, okay. So you had earlier cited the marginalization of the zone since the military. Can, um, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. I yes. You. So you had cited the marginalization of uh, the zone, especially since yes. the military era. But the zone had produced a speaker, and I'm thinking of a couple of other Senate presidents, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Yes. The issue in question here is the office of the vice president. I think we are good to produce the president. We're equally good to produce the vice president. We're not talking about, we're not interested in the office of the Senate president or the speaker. All the other regions, they not, they produce vice president, they produce uh, the speaker as well. The Northeast, they produce, they produce the, the, the Senate president. The Northwest, they produce the speaker, but they've done, they produce the vice president too. So what we're interested in here is the office of the vice president. All right. It seems you are unhappy with the decision of the party to zone the presidency to the south. Talk to us about this. Uh, it's not as if we are not happy about that. Normally here in Nigeria, because of the, our understanding, when the president is from the north, the vice goes to the south. When the president is from the south, the vice comes to the north. That has been like the convention here in the country. So because Buhari is from the north, so we felt uh, the president should go to the south. We are actually in support of the presidency in the south. We are behind that. Great. Now, um, in your opinion, how do you think that the issue of marginal marginalization, you know, recurring complaints in the country, how do you think that can be addressed? Uh, I think, uh, first and foremost, I think our party will have to adopt the formation of the federal character. That is why when the federal government is making her appointment for ministers, every state will have to produce a minister. So until the party decides to follow the, the part of federal character, things will not be right for the party. And we are members of the party. We've invested in the party. We've done so much for the party. The party should carry us along as well. It is not fair for the party, for one region to, to, to do uh, the vice president office twice while the other region has not done it. And they have to follow the part of federal character. That's my position. That's what the party should follow. Since the Nigeria constitution allows that. Right. Well, Samuel Lalong has said he will not uh, step down from his position. Which is the way forward? So I don't, I don't know. But uh, when we decide, when we meet, I would just want to call on the party for the interests of our followers, for equity among the members of the party. They should consider a decision about that issue of the uh, DG for Lalong. They should find somebody to do it. All right, I want to say many thanks to you, Mr. Bot, for stopping by and talking to us today here on YouTube.